Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you a brand new working executor for the Windows version of Roblox. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. If you are interested in purchasing the executor, it will be in the first link in the description, which will take you over to my website. And from there, you can go ahead and click on the Rebel executor. And of course, from there, we do have the seven day and the 30 day key options available. And we are the only one on the market currently selling the executor. And of course, we do also have a variety of different payment methods. So make sure you check that out. And with that being said, let me go ahead and jump into the actual showcase for the executor. When you do purchase the executor, you will be provided with all of the download instructions along with the actual download itself. So when you have downloaded it and you've extracted the folder just like this, this is the folder that you'll see. From there, go ahead and click on the interface.exe just like that. And then go ahead and click on yes. Now at this point, it will ask you if you want to randomize the name of the executor. If you want to be a little bit more safe, then you can go ahead and click on yes. And over here, you just want to go ahead and paste in the license key that you purchased. And you can also go ahead and click on save key, which will allow you to save the key so you don't have to paste it each time you load into the actual executor. So let me go ahead and grab my key and I will show you how to actually log in and start using the executor. So here we go. I've just gone ahead and pasted my key. Now I do want to point out that you will not be able to copy this key for yourself. So don't even try. And then from there, you can go ahead and click on save key as I mentioned and go ahead and click on login. And once you do log in, this is the interface that you get. Now, the interface will be updated within three to four days. And they do have a really nice interface coming. So you don't have to worry about that at all. But for now, this is what we're working with. And over here, you can go ahead and turn on topmost, which will keep the actual file or the executor on top, even if you're working with some files in the background, which is useful if you're messing around with a bunch of scripts because you don't have to bring up the executor each time. So at this point, you're pretty much ready to go. All you want to do is go ahead and open up Roblox and load into any game of your choice. So let's go ahead and do that now. Let me go ahead and open up Roblox. Here we go. And let me go ahead and load into a game. I don't know what that is. We'll go ahead and jump into the actual base plate just like that. And here we go. Once you're loaded into the game, simply go ahead and click on attach just like that. And it will only take a couple of seconds and it should say injected. So let's go ahead and wait for that. There we go. And once it does say injected, go ahead and click on execute and that will allow you to execute your script. And of course, you can do this on any Roblox game and of course, any script of your choice as well. And one of the major things is I have not experienced any sort of crashes with this executor. So if you have been experiencing any sort of crashes with any of the previous executors, then I definitely recommend giving this executor a go. And with that being said, guys, that is the end of the video. Hopefully you did like it. If you did, then make sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel. And as always, thanks for watching.